Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through around four different things that you can try to fix your remote situation for your NVIDIA Shield TV. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that our remote has battery life. It's a really simple way to do this. Go ahead and hold down the select button for around three seconds and the little blue pairing light here should be blinking on and off at that point. If your pairing light is not blinking, then this probably means that you're out of battery life within your device. Now to change the batteries on your NVIDIA Shield remote, you can see this little divot here at the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and take a pen and put it in that little divot, and then it should pop out this tray. You have two CR2032 batteries in here. Maybe not the most common kind of battery, but you should be able to find it on Amazon or potentially if you just go down to the store, they might have these kind of batteries. But you just replace those, slide them back in, and then you should be ready to go. Now, if it's not a battery situation, you might just need to pair your remote. Now, to do this, again, you just hold down that select button for around three or so seconds until your blue pairing light is blinking on and off. And then you're going to want to hold your remote within about a foot of your NVIDIA Shield TV. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your NVIDIA Shield TV is turned on. If it's currently in sleep mode or powered off, you can just go ahead and unplug the power cord, plug it back in, and then it will boot up and turn on. And then you should be able to put your remote into pairing mode. And it, if it's within about a foot of the NVIDIA Shield TV, they should pair with each other and you should be ready to go at that point. Now, another option that you can use, let's just say, for instance, you don't have your NVIDIA Shield TV remote, perhaps you misplaced it and lost it and you're looking for a different solution. You can actually just take a regular old mouse and keyboard and plug it into the USB connections on the back side of your NVIDIA Shield TV. And you can just use your mouse and keyboard to get around through the menus and get things to work. So that's another option that you have. The final recommendation that I have for you is to turn your smartphone device into an NVIDIA Shield TV remote. And that's how I'm gonna be closing out this video, walking you through the process of how to turn your smartphone into an NVIDIA Shield remote. All right, guys, gonna be walking you through the process of how to turn your smartphone device into a remote for your NVIDIA Shield TV. To do this, you need to launch the Play Store or the App Store. And then once you're on the main page of the App Store in the search bar, just go ahead and type in NVIDIA Shield TV remote, or you can just go ahead and tap on the NVIDIA Shield TV application. This is the application that we need to install. So we're gonna go ahead and click install, and it is a very small file size, just a couple of megabytes. So it should download and install very quickly. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and select open. And the application should also make an icon on one of the main pages of your phone. So that's where you're gonna be able to find it later. But once we're into the application itself, for the terms of use, we're gonna go ahead and select continue. Now we need to make sure that we're connected into the same internet Wi-Fi router with our phone as we are connected with our NVIDIA Shield TV. So make sure that both the NVIDIA Shield TV and your smartphone are connected into that same Wi-Fi wireless router or this won't work. So as you can see, my Shield, which is 10.0.0.2 is right there ready to be selected so I tapped on it now at this point it's going to pop up with a code on your television it's going to be a different code for you than it is for me but on my tv right now it's displaying 636 236 and then once you have all the digits entered in you just go ahead and click enter and now it says you're connected ready to go you're smartphone is now a remote for your nvidia shield tv you can see on display right now there's this large trackpad that's what this big gray square is below the trackpad we have left click and right click for mouse buttons if you want it to look like a more traditional nvidia shield remote next to the little keyboard button you just go ahead and click those arrows and then it shows you the different arrows as well as the select button. Then you can change it back to a mouse, the trackpad and different uh, left and right click buttons as well. And then you also have a keyboard option which can be really useful on different applications in your NVIDIA Shield TV. Beyond that, we have our back button, our play pause button, as well as our home button. So now everything is set up and ready to go to use our smartphone as an NVIDIA Shield TV remote. And that's gonna wrap this one up, guys. Thanks for stopping on in. Consider subscribing for more, and I hope to see you guys back here for future videos.